If you're considering calling Canton your home, or maybe you're interested in the area, then this video is for you. Stay tuned to learn more about the pros and the cons of living in the Canton area of Baltimore City. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Audrey Rozier and I am a realtor in the lovely state of Maryland. I specialize in assisting clients in the central Maryland area, which is also known as the Baltimore metro area. In this video, I wanted to chat with you about the pros and the cons of living in Canton. So let's get into it. But first, a quick disclaimer. The information that I discuss in this video is not based on my personal opinion, but rather the result of me conducting a lot of research about the area and formatting that information into this video. Without further ado, Canton is a neighborhood located in Baltimore City, Maryland. It's considered to be an urban suburban mix. Approximately 11,000 residents live there and it has an overall niche grade of an A. First up, let's talk about the pros. One of the standout features of Canton is its prime location near the waterfront, which provides residents with easy access to a variety of recreational and entertainment options, including two public parks that host a wide range of festivals, summer concert events, and community fitness classes. The popular community square is also just a short walk away, offering even more opportunities for socializing and community events. Another pro of living in Canton is the variety of housing options available, from traditional Baltimore row homes to large new construction townhouses, waterfront condos, and apartment buildings. There's something for everyone in Canton. The median real estate sales price in the neighborhood is around $320,000 as of January 2023, and roughly 60% of residents own their homes while the other 40% rent their homes. Canton is also served by several public and private schools, such as Hampstead Hill Academy, as well as other local schools. You can find more information at greatschools.org, which is linked down below for you to check out. For those of you who prefer to walk or bike, Canton is an ideal location with a walk score of 94 and a bike score of 83. This means that many daily errands can be accomplished on foot or by bike. Canton also has great access to public transportation, with BWI Airport, Charles Center, and Penn Station being nearby. Not to mention bike and scooter share, as well as other available rideshare options. Finally, according to Niche.com, Canton is a vibrant and lively neighborhood with a strong sense of community. The community square and public parks host a variety of events and activities, making it easy for residents to get involved and make new friends. Now let's get into the cons. One of the main cons of living in Canton is the higher cost of living compared to the national average, with a median rent of $2,017 compared to the national average of $1,163. Additionally, like I mentioned before, the median home value is $320,000 compared to Baltimore's median home value as a whole of $173,751. Although it is a little cheaper than the updated national average median home value of $328,745, you may find more affordable housing in one of the surrounding neighborhoods of Canton. Additionally, traffic and parking can be a challenge in Canton, particularly during peak hours and busy events. It's worth noting that having a parking pad at your home is a very desirable amenity in the neighborhood. So there you have it. In conclusion, Canton is conveniently located and is in an overall accessible location. It also has a strong sense of community and a variety of housing options. Canton might just be the perfect neighborhood for you if you love those things. However, if you're looking for a more affordable cost of living or you hate traffic and parking congestion, you might want to consider other neighborhoods in Baltimore. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any questions about the area or would like some guidance within the real estate space, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Make sure you click the link down below to download my free relocation guide on moving to Maryland. And also, if you'd like to schedule a time to chat with me, that link is down below as well. Thank you again, and I will see you on the next one.